everybody and welcome to another crock pot Wednesday and today I'm gonna make a crock pot meal that is very frugal it's very easy to make and there's nothing quite like a crock pot meal when you really have a busy day I hope you stay tuned to see what I'm making today Diaries, we're on October 24th, 1942, and this is a really special entry. Today I was working on scrapbook pages for David Barton. What a cute thing that she did. Fanny was not known to be doing a lot of crafts, but in those days when someone was sick or injured, they made scrapbooks for them. He's going to be home early today, and he said, Tessie, let's get some outside projects finished. He wants to do the final mowing and we've been doing a lot of weeding and I rode it till the garden. I've been doing a lot of things because the frost is really going to be here soon. We've had some low temperatures but we didn't have a killer frost yet. So I said okay so this is what we're making. I don't know if I made this before. I'm thinking I did on a video but this is what we're having today. I was able to get chicken for $1.99 a pound and it's boneless skinless chicken breast and we are going to make what is called the one dish chicken supper and it comes to you by my trusty and favorite cookbook of all is the fix it and forget it this is the big cookbook this is all of her cookbooks in one so we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pan my camera down and I'm gonna show you the chicken that I got and how we assemble this crock pot meal I received all of these chicken breasts for $1.99 a pound and what I'm going to do is it only calls for four but I do not like the thick chicken breast so we are going to go ahead and we're going to slice these thinner and then I'm going to freeze the other I like cutting my chicken on a cutting board like this because I'm able to sanitize this really well let me go ahead and wash my hands and then we'll get started on slicing up this chicken I try to be really careful when I'm working with chicken. So we're going to go ahead and take this chicken breast and we're going to slice it this way. Now that gave me two. What we're going to go ahead and do is it says to put four boneless chicken breasts halves into the bottom of your crock pot. So we're going to put four of them in the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and put these other ones in a bag so we can freeze it. What I like to do is when I freeze my chicken, I will freeze them individually in bags and then I will put them all in one big bag. I get my freezer bags at the Dollar Tree. They seem to work fine for me. Try to get as much air out. Now I would love to have one of those vacuum sealers. I think they are so cool. But I heard that the bags for them are so expensive. And this one's a little more thicker. So we have our chicken in the bottom of our slow cooker and what we're going to do is we are going to take some cream soup and we're going to spread it on the top of our chicken. Now you may think I don't have that much chicken in here which is true you could add more but because I cut it in half 
the chicken breast, I'm actually stretching this crock pot meal. Since it's my husband and I, and we don't really eat a whole lot of meat, this is perfect for us. To that, we're going to open a stuffing mix. And I got my stuffing mix at the Dollar Tree. This is a standby recipe for me that we just love it. Then I'm going to add the amount of liquid it calls for. And that's it. There you go, my friends. It's a quick meal. We are going to put it in the crock pot for low for six to eight hours. So I'm going to go ahead, put it in the crock pot, and now I can get on with my work for today. Now, in Tessie fashion, I'm going to have it on high, and it's going to cook for about three to four hours. All right, so since we got the crock pot meal done, let's get on to the rest of the day. So what is the rest of the day, I bet you're asking? Today I have to put some more storm windows in. I have to clean my windows. I have a lot of outside work to do. This is day two. Day one is a full video in itself because it was the hardest work I have ever done so far. And I can't wait to share with you that video, but that will be in the weekend. So, the crock pot meal's done. The laundry's ready to hang up on the wash line. And we gotta get started because it's 8 a.m. and the day is ahead and we have to make the best of it because time goes by so fast and when your list is this long and your day is this short, ah, what do you do, my friends? What do you do? So, this is what I'm working on today. So while my crock pot meal is cooking away and it smells so delicious, I'm out here and I'm working on my windows. So what I do is I spray this and I'm gonna soak them for a little bit. And while they soak, I can share with you what it is I'm using. So I share with you in other videos, but I'll share with you again today. Dollar Tree window cleaner. Add some rubbing alcohol to it and just a teaspoon of Dawn dish soap in it. And it turns out amazing. And now I'm gonna clean my windows. It gets a lot of dirt and grime. So the cheap window cleaner works okay, but it doesn't work that great. But if you add some rubbing alcohol to it, clear, clear rubbing alcohol, and you add some of the Dawn dish soap, that gets a lot of the bugs residue, it gets a lot of the grease and all kinds of things on your windows, gets it really shiny clean. So what is the ratio? I just pour a little bit of this and a little bit of that to it. Now I clean two panes on the outside and look at all of that pollen and dirt. So I have a lot of windows to do today. I'll open the windows like this and I clean off the inside of the ledge. Take a look at that. So, one panel's done and the whole rest to do. Now, I normally don't use paper towels on the homestead but I will for projects like this. I usually use old rags for things, but I really like how the Bounty paper towels really work well with my windows. The cheap paper All right, my friends, thank you so much for joining me while our crock pot meal is being cooked. And I'll get back to you when we're all finished. 
I'll show you what it looks like. I'm getting hungry already. The meal is finished and I finished cleaning my windows. Now I'm washing all of my curtains. So it's great to have a break. I want to share with you, I got some of these peas for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. And they are really, really good. So, you know, if you have a Dollar Tree in your area that sells food, sometimes it's really bad purchases. But sometimes you can get some really good food. So we're going to have some peas. And I'll pan my camera down and show you our crock pot meal. Home cooking food. Yum, yum. Let's go ahead, sit at the table, and we'll give it a try. We got some chicken, some stuffing, and some peas. Mmm, -mm. it smells amazing. I'm going to add a little bit of my seasoning with some Parmesan cheese just to give it a little bit more flavor and we're going to give it a try. The chicken is so tender. I'm smiling. Oh, it's so amazing. There's something about chicken and cream soup and some stovetop stuffing and some peas. Mmm. Mmm. It's so good. I hope wherever you are, you're having a very blessed day. And give this a try. I'm sure it will please the whole family. Mmm. It's really good. Mmm. Crock pot meals are the way to go. When you're busy and you have a lot of chores and your family is hungry, try a crock pot meal. It's so much easier. Take care everyone and we'll see you guys tomorrow.